Hello YouTubers, now welcome to the second extension video of the smallest IoT project. Now in the first video, I have shown that how to program this ESP8266-01 Wi-Fi module using the Arduino IDE. Now in the second video, I will be showing you how to use the Android app which our team has developed. So let's get started. So first of all, as I already uploaded the code, the ESP8266 must be acting as a server. So and first we need to connect to the uh, ESP8266. So I'll just open. Okay, so as you can see that ESP AP is already connected. So after this connection, I need to open the app, which is called, which is named as ESP Connect. You can uh, download the app from the link, which is written in the description. Okay, here you need to enter the SRE name and password. So what is happening in this or what is happening behind this so whenever you enter the name and password, a link will be created by this app and this link is requested within this local connection. So this ESP will come to know the requested link and it will read out that link, separate out the SID name and password, use that details to connect to your host. This is what is, what is happening in the code and inside our Arduino code also. So first we'll enter the name, it is Panasonic Luga R2. And password is Panasonic. So after that, I need to hit the submit button. So I will just look that is connected or not. So in my phone, it is showing that ESP is already connected. This is how you can use this app to change the SID name and password without changing the actual code inside the chip. So now I hope you must came to know on how to use this app and how to program this ESP board. Still, if you have any doubt, you can definitely connect with me. You can comment below. You can mail me directly. Uh, I will be definitely replying you. Okay, so this is it about this video. If you haven't watched the world's smallest IoT project, watch out my video on how to make your world's smallest IoT project. So thanks for watching.